Hey, welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Today I'm out with my dad fishing for rainbow trout with the jawjacker. My intent in this video is to get some underwater footage and show you exactly what's going on. We were struggling a bit this day losing fish on the jawjacker, but after watching the underwater footage, we had a better understanding of why we were losing fish and why we were having trouble catching them. So stick around. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Pretty cool to see the fish and we catch some really fat rainbow trout. I got nightmares in my head. Oh, dad, I feel dad. Off. I ran to get the camera. He was fighting hard, but he came off. They're out here. Yeah. Don't need to go in shallow. No. That didn't take long. I just put it in. Just came off. Just came off. He was on there. Should be cool. I think we got down the GoPro. Underwater. Here's that underwater shot of that fish I missed on the jaw jacker. He comes in once and actually hits the upper lure and then he swings back around and hits the lower one and stays buckled for a few seconds but gets off right as I get there. So we had a few quick bites and we set those jaw jackers up right away. I think three or four. Missed them all. Two were hooked and fighting but I was running for the camera. When I got to the camera, I got there, they popped off. So we got lots of holes. I'm just going to keep moving the jaw jackers around and see if we can't find some fish. anything there? I had a couple just go by. Yeah, right under the ice. No, they just come in and turn, but I got a bigger, I had a jig on. I'm gonna put smaller thing on. Oh yeah, that might work. Here we go, back down under the ice. Check it out. And you can see, I'm just putting the camera down, still adjusting it, and this trout swims by. You see me still wiggling the camera, so it doesn't seem to scare the trout too much having the camera, but they don't come into the bait with it down there. <laughs> don't let the rod loose. Keep the camera. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, oh, it's a nice one. That's that safe guy. Come back again. It might be. Help me. No. It's not. It's not. It's not. No, oh, yeah. No, it's not. He would have the hook in his mouth. Oh, no. That's, that's him. No, no, no. The other one looked bigger. I saw the other one. It was bigger. See, no hook in his mouth. No hook? No. This is a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. They're starting to bite again right now. Look at that beautiful bow. Let's get him in the sunshine. Whoa, fat, thick, beautiful bull. Look at that gorgeous fish. Rainbow trout on that little pink blob, jaw jacker. Don't grab them with your That's when he breaks the thing. Yeah, yeah. Just grow easy, easy, easy. Grab them. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. one. <laughs> they're all right here. They're they're all huge. <laughs> Look at that. Another giant. <laughs> Sorry, my camera glitched a few times on this day, and I missed the couple shots with my dad hooked up on a big rainbow trout that ended up breaking off right at the hole and then the ending of that clip. But we're back underwater now to show you exactly how rainbow trout can see you on the ice even though there's a foot of ice and snow they can see the shadows moving around on top of the ice. It's pretty crazy. 
And here's a demonstration of some of the bait the fish are actually eating under the ice. On the right hand side of your screen, you'll see a water beetle floating up to the surface to get some oxygen. And these are larger in size and they're usually brown to black in coloration. The trout do eat them and sometimes I find trout are absolutely full of these. And when the, when the trout are keyed in on those beetles, what works best seems to be black tungsten jigs in my opinion. And here he goes back down to the bottom after he's gotten his air and they swim quite slow. So a black tungsten jig uh, tipped with a little piece of mealworm is just excellent when using uh, a bite that is keyed in on those water beetles. Here's a water boatman swimming by. As you see, they're much faster and jerky in motion and they're a little bit lighter in coloration, a light olive or light whitish cream coloration. The rainbows in this lake are absolutely tanks and you'll see them swimming by. This is in the early afternoon when the fish are not really anxious and biting that well. So sometimes you just have to wait till the bite turns on. Every day uh, in the early afternoon, the fish seem to be get more aggressive and that's when we get a lot more hits on the jaw jacker. This shows why the fish were getting off. They just really weren't taking the baits all that hard and when the jaw jacker sets, the hook would be barely in the lip and they just pop off before we could even get there. And fish were just swimming by for the main part. They were quite disinterested and that is the, often the case when you're not getting bit. Sometimes the fish are around, they're just not feeding at that time and that's why you gotta wait for those key bite times in the morning and then in the evening. That will really help you catch fish if you're there during the right time of the day. If you're just fishing the late morning and leaving in the early afternoon, you're sometimes missing the key period when they're actually feeding and you'll think they're not biting, whereas they're probably biting before you got there and biting after you left the lake. So keep that in mind. I love seeing these rainbow trout swim by. There's tons of feed in this lake. You see all these little white dots bouncing around under the ice. There's also minnows, and most of the fish that we caught in this lake were actually absolutely full of minnows. There you just saw me running by to go for another jaw jacker, and a rainbow trout had been swimming by at the same time. Here's a rainbow trout swimming by at the bottom. He probably came by to check out my uh, pink tungsten jig that's just out of the screen. That's it for rainbow trout fishing with my dad. I hope you really enjoyed that video series I did out in Alberta this year. It was a lot of fun to hit a bunch of different lakes and fish for rainbow trout, which I don't usually do out there in the winter time. If you enjoyed the video series, give me a comment below, share with a friend, hit the like button, and uh, if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe and notification bell and that will let you know when I'm posting more stuff. Okay, thanks for watching, God bless, and good luck out there ice fishing this year.